the lines are still down. No, 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 not again, not again. Go here, buddy. Oh, we are trying to. Oh, Robin, where are you? Oh, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, the, this, the, the, the lightning and the thunder, it's scaring you, isn't it? Yeah, I know. I know, it's okay. <laughs> but what? But you know what? If you think about it, uh, like it's like it's your daddy's uh, m m motorcycle. Yeah, yeah, and it goes vroom, vroom. What? No, 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 it's okay. Really, it's okay. It goes vroom, vroom, vroom. What do you need? What do you need? I, I've got everything for you. Here you go. Here, how about another? There you go, there you go. Yeah. You know what? You and me ooh, are gonna be really good friends, huh? Because you're starting to like me, I can tell. Yeah, you are. I know it. And if I were a betting man, we are gonna be the best of buddies. Uh-huh. I can see you're crazy about me. You're starting to become crazy about me. Daddy. You know, um, a thank you wouldn't be completely out of place here. I didn't plan this. So leave. Look, Jason, Robin had to trust me with Michael. There was no other choice. There is a choice now, AJ. Leave. And let her walk into an emotional ambush. That wouldn't be fair. I don't want to throw you out in front of Michael, but I will. So, yeah, well, I'm not leaving without a fight. You're going to listen to me, unless you want your son to see you get violent. It's okay. It's okay. There you go. All right, say what you want and get out. Do you, do you ever hear yourself? You were so paranoid. You should be in Ferncliff yourself, fighting Carly for the applesauce. Yeah, you'd like that, AJ, wouldn't you? Me locked up next to Carly. Edward could steal Michael again the same way he did when he thought I was dead. I promised Carly I would not let Michael near the quarter mains, and I promised him the same thing. What about Michael? What's his say in this? What'll happen when he wants to know his family? Or will you forbid him to know us, to speak to us, lock him in a room somewhere? Jason, we tried to run your life once. For a lot better reasons than you have trying to run Michael's. And look how much you resent us. How long do you think it's gonna be before your own son hates you as much as you hate us, Quartermains? <laughs> you come here? Well, believe it or not, to see you, to get permission to visit with Michael. Yeah, well, you know the answer. But I don't know the reason. But my mother, she gets to visit with him. Why shouldn't I? Yeah, because Monica didn't try kidnapping him. Jason, that was a huge mistake. I've apologized for it more times than I can count, but right now, you, you are the one who's making a huge mistake, trying to keep Michael from people who love him. I only came here to try and work things out with you. And then Robin got a call that the cottage might be in danger, so I volunteered to stay here with my nephew. I also thought that maybe it would be a good way to prove to you that I could be trusted with him, that, I, that, that Michael wouldn't be in danger with me, that I wouldn't try to snatch him the first oh, chance yeah, I got. I know, I know you wouldn't try to snatch him. You do? Yeah. Yeah, you're smarter than the old man. You won't take Michael again until you're sure you can keep him. That's why you're hanging around all the time all of a sudden, because you're looking for a legal way to get Michael. But there is no way, AJ. I will never let Michael into that quarter man house again, ever. Thank you for proving my point. You plan to run his life forever. But guess what? Sooner or later, he's going to realize that he has another family that you won't let him see. And what are you going to do then, Jason? But... When, when, when the time comes and he's old enough to understand, I'm going to tell him the truth, AJ, about everything. And then if he still wants to see the Quartermains, it's up to him. But until then, I am Michael's father, and I have to protect him. Protect him from his own family? No, for the way you treat each other. Emily comes to my house all the time crying because there was some kind of fight or somebody lied to somebody else. I'm not going to let you do that to Michael. Jason, we love Michael, too. Yeah, not for himself, just for what he can do for you. 
You treat him like a trophy. The old man wants to turn him into a CEO, and Alan's just looking for another golden boy since I didn't work out. Really? And what do I want from him? I don't know. Maybe to impress the old man. I don't know why, but everybody's always trying to do that. Maybe you're right, Jason. Maybe I do want something from Michael. Maybe someone to replace the brother I lost. Someone with his face, his voice, but not the cold eyes I see now. And what do you want, Jason? Huh? What do you want with Michael? But someone to keep away from the Quartermains? Who's treating him like a trophy now? Come on, kiddo. Let's go. This is insane! You'd rather take Michael out into the storm than listen to me? You stay the night if you want. You won't get near Michael again. Jason, come on. He's probably at the quarter mains right now, Felicia. How am I gonna explain this to Jason? The phone lines are still down. AJ didn't leave a note. So he has Michael somewhere. He said he would stay here. I only left Michael here because I thought he would be safe. Michael is safe. If his head is under the wrong roof, then we can fix that. We can go over to the quarter mains, and if he's there, we can bring him back. No, you don't understand how bad this situation is. The only reason they gave him back last time is because Jason had a gun with him. Jason. Michael's fine, okay, but we have to go get him. One of our neighbors called, and they said that the creek was flooding, and that if we had to do anything, we had to do it then. So I left Michael here with AJ. I swear, I thought I would be gone 45 minutes tops, but my car stalled. Felicia had to come and get me, and when I came back, they were gone. So we have to go get them, okay? I'm sure he's just probably sitting in Lila's lap. We should go. Michael's next door with Mike. Okay, so... Michael's fine. Good. He's okay. She's been so worried. I've been trying to call. The phone lines are jammed or down or something, but I swear I've been trying to call. Was AJ here when you got back from Schenectady? Yeah. Oh, great. Good. Then you made the right decision. It would have been ludicrous to take the baby out in the storm. Was it as bad on the highway as it was here? Because we had flash floods, the roads were blocked, the phone lines were down. It was terrible. Felicia, thanks for the rescue. If you need any help, if you want me to help you with your car, give me a call. Her car was swamped. Apparently, the only person who was in real danger today was her. Take care. OK. Mike was gone. I swear, I thought I'd be gone 45 minutes. But my car stalled, and Felicia only got through because she's my uncle's wife. Jeez, what was I supposed to do? Will you say something? Did you leave Michael with AJ on purpose? Have you not been listening? I didn't know the creek was going to flood. I didn't know our neighbor was going to call until she did. 
And I wasn't about to endanger Michael by taking him out in the storm, so I did the only thing I could Stop think of. Stop lying to me. You think I'm lying? Yeah, I was thinking about a lot of things. Robin. When I walked in. And I saw AJ holding Michael. I thought you must be hurt. But when AJ said he had Michael because you were worried about the cottage, I thought about breaking his ribs because I didn't want to believe him. Now the one thing I couldn't think is that you would let Michael be stolen. And you shouldn't think that, because I wouldn't. I love Well, Michael. you left him with AJ. You left him with AJ, Robin. You know he helped take Michael before. You promised me. You promised you would never let AJ near Michael again. Jesus. Well, now, tell me. Tell me why. What, the rain made you do it? A cottage? Yeah, I do think you're lying to me right Jason, now. Jason, I was thinking of Michael. I was thinking of his safety. I wasn't about to bring him out in that storm. And AJ promised to stay here. You broke your promise to me, Robin. Why? You tell me why. Because he's Michael's father, Jason. Look, I promised that I wouldn't tell AJ that he was Michael's biological father. I have honored that. I haven't told him and I won't. But I do think that he deserves a chance to get to know Michael, to spend time with him. He deserves that chance to earn our trust, which is exactly what he did today. He promised he would stay here, and he did. He didn't take Michael anywhere. He didn't call anybody. He kept his word, Jason. Why shouldn't he be able to do that so that his son his is... His son? Why, why do you keep him? calling Michael his son? AJ got drunk at a bar, had a one-nighter with Carly, and that makes a father to you? Sex? One night? You wake up the next morning, he can't remember what happened the night before, and that gives AJ a right to raise Michael? AJ is not the same person he was that night that he slept with Carly. If I didn't think that he had the capacity to love Michael, if I thought that he saw him as a possession like you think he does, that would be one thing. But if there's a chance that he could be at least a loving presence in this child's life, then yes, I do think he deserves that chance. To not give it to him would mean to cheat him and to lie to him and to take away a part of his life. That's not fair. All right, okay, if you, if you trust him so much, why'd you panic today? Huh? Why were you shaking when I walked in thinking he took Michael? Maybe because I spent the whole afternoon scared to death of what you might do or what you might think. Maybe the only thing I did today was let AJ prove himself. I can't change your mind. I'll never ask you again to keep Michael away from AJ. I'm not sure I know what you mean. I mean, I'm not leaving you alone with Michael again. So you don't trust me? No, we don't think the same way about this. And I wish you would have told me all along instead of using Michael to show me. Robin. I will not let anyone use Michael again. Not anyone. No, just tell him I'll meet him outside. Thanks. Phone's working. I love you. But I'm too angry to be with you. And Michael will pick up on it and will scare him. So we're going to stay with Mike. You don't even want Michael under the same roof as me? No, you're right. Both had a lot of thinking to do. I should go. Let me take my car. Bye. 
you just have to come make it up. I already called a cab. <laughs>